Hey, what's going on guys? My name is James and welcome back to another video. Today is episode 3 of Talking Watches. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Today I'm going to be giving my opinion of quartz watches. So this is a tricky one because there's a lot of movement snobs out there and I'd like to think I'm definitely not one considering I own three quartz watches. In my opinion, a quartz watch is a must for a collection. If you have a collection over four or five watches, I feel like you should have a quartz. Now hear me out. If you're a, if you're a movement snob, hear, hear me out. Okay? So the reason you should have a quartz in your collection is because of how easy they are, how, how good they are. At the end of the day, if you have five automatic or manual winding watches, you've got to make sure they're charged, right? You can't just wake up in the morning, grab one and go. Now, we've all been in that situation where we're running late and we need a watch. And none of them are set correctly. None of them are running on time. I don't know. I've had that experience once when I've maybe not gone out for a day or two and they're just sort of sitting there. And I do wear my watches on the on a normal day where I do nothing. But, you know, there's that, there's that point where you just need to grab a watch and go. And that's the, the great thing about quartz watches. You don't have to charge them. You don't really have to maintain them. They just keep going. They keep updating time. They keep updating the date and the, the day of the week. And if you've got like the perpetual calendar in there, they stay perfect throughout. So I think the pick up and go aspect of a quartz watch is a must for a collection. They're easy to use. They're easy to replace a battery if the battery dies, if they do run out. And they're very, very easy to use and great little things. And at the end of the day, they're cheap. Quartz watches are usually cheap. You can pr pick up a pretty decent quartz watch that looks fine, is a good brand, for a, probably around 40 to 50 pounds, which isn't that expensive in comparison to sort of other watches. You can pick them up from, you can pick up a Casio for like a tenner, a Timex for like five pounds. You know, at the end of the day, these are, are watches that will serve as a tool watch, as a watch that just needs time, that just serves time even, which is pretty good. And also because there's so many companies out there that are dedicated to quartz, you can find a design you like. You know, look at look at Swatch watches. You know, they're they're fun, they're they're different, they're unique. And with it being quartz, I think a lot of quartz manufacturers or watch manufacturers that do a lot of quartz feel like they can experiment a lot more because they're not dealing with such intricate movements that they've got to make sure is perfect and all that kind of. So this moves me on to my next thing, which is high-end quartz. Um, my opinions on high-end quartz. Now, the way I'd like to see it, when it comes to high-end quartz, I'm talking, um, you know, the, the Grand Seiko quartz, which are like two, three thousand pounds, um, or one to three thousand pounds. I don't know. The, anything over like five hundred pounds for a quartz, um, unless it's a vintage piece that has some real meaning to it. So there's a couple of the old Seikos, the seven zero one nine series. I want to say I could be completely wrong there. Um, the the one that is featured in in um, in Alien, you know, the Ripley, the Seiko Ripley, I think it's called. Um, you know, stuff like that, that has sort of this, this meaning um, behind it. I don't see why you should spend over 500 pounds on a quartz. Now hear me out, hear me out. For me, with my budget, 500 pounds is a luxury watch. And I know everyone will probably disagree with that, but let's talk about luxury when it comes to one to 3,000 pounds. In my opinion, spending that kind of money on a watch, I want a movement which has had the same care as the as the case, as the design, as as everything else, because at the end of the day, what you're paying for is luxury, overall luxury. You're not paying for out out like outside luxury and the inside just being generic. In my opinion, it's like when you go to buy a luxury car. Let's say you want a really really nice car that's had a lot of time, a lot of effort spent on it. Ferraris are still hand tuned, whereas a lot of cars aren't. That shows pure luxury, in my opinion. You know, the fact that your car has had someone hand tune it. Uh, it's had someone like actually put in that time, that care and that love. And I know it sounds absolutely ridiculous to some people, but I think if you're a, a watch enthusiast or, or like someone who's really into watches as well, you'll probably understand what I'm trying to say. If you want a luxury watch, in my opinion, quartz is not the way to go. Sure, if you want the luxury of a design, so let's say an AP Royal Oak. I would love to have an AP Royal Oak, but they're very, very expensive. Now they do quartz alternatives, which are quite a bit cheaper. Not a lot cheaper, but quite a bit cheaper. At the end of the day, I really like the design of the AP Royal Oak. So I could just get the quartz version, which is cheaper, save myself a bit of money and still get the same design. It's just it's quartz. But to me, I'm paying for that luxury, you know, that luxury of a, of a movement which has been which has been like handcrafted and 
and hand tailored and all that kind of stuff and that's that to me is what makes a luxury watch not quartz but anyway at the end of the day uh to, to summarize i think every collection should have a, at least one quartz piece because they're great they're great watches they will run they will run they will run they will never really need to be serviced and at the end of the day if they do usually quartz watches are so cheap you can just get another one it doesn't really matter i know people who have quartz watches when the battery runs out because it's like a five ten pound timex they just get another five ten pound timex and that's perfectly fine you scared of quartz watches either vintage quartz watches there are some cool ones out there seiko did some really cool ones i'm actually looking for a few myself but anyway i just spoke way too fast then so i hope you understood that all if you didn't i'm really sorry but if you did definitely leave a like and i'll catch you all in the next one guys peace out